What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Broadway Joel. If you'd like to stay up to date with boxing news, please hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. So as some of you guys know, I'm very, very high on the Brazilian Olympic gold medalist, Herbert Salsa. I wanted to manage him. I saw he wasn't signed to any promoter, and I didn't think he had a manager. So I was trying my best to get in contact with him to manage him. But unfortunately... <laughs> He found uh, uh, somebody he signed with. Matter of fact, let me show y'all who he signed with. Uh, that way, you know. So, yeah. So, if he signed with a promotional company, most likely he has a manager. So, unfortunately, my dream of managing him isn't uh, a, a reality anymore. But, yeah. Herbert Salsa, Olympic gold medal winner, signs with Pro Vellum. So, basically, with Richard Schaefer, he signed with. That's a good promoter. He's somebody who, you know, really built up Golden Boy and really was the backbone of golden boy and if you see once he's left golden boy how golden boy has had uh you know not so much success you have to say he probably was the brains behind that so he's going with a good promoter but if i was his manager i would have had him go with top rank top rank does a lot of good things with olympians as well as they have a lot of uh how do i say firepower with the espn and and, and ways that could could get creative using their promotional muscle but, you know, this isn't a bad place where he would sign. But anyways, I just want to, this video is to, just to show you why I was so high on Herbert Salsa and why I think I wanted to manage him, why I think he's going to be a future superstar. So first, let me screen share you his Wikipedia page before anything. So Herbert Salsa on Wikipedia for whatever is known as Herbert Conceição. So if you guys want to check him out on your own, Herbert Conceição. And here they have it spelled Salsa with a Z. But on throughout the Olympics, as well as uh, the article I just showed you guys, it's Salsa with an S, not a Z, but either way. So as you guys know, he's an Olympic gold medalist. And if you don't know how he won the Olympic gold medal, I just run, I'm going to just run through it real quick. He was facing the number one ranked middleweight in uh, – Alexander Kizniak. Alexander Kizniak is a super offensive fighter and somebody who likes to brawl and is strong enough and hits hard enough where he can get away with getting hit with a few shots. So in this fight, he was coming forward, beat up, Kinsei, uh, excuse me, Salsa for the first two rounds. And the only way Kinsei Sal could have won was by knockout. And he got the knockout, a clutch knockout in the third round. But when you take a deeper look at his amateur success, this wasn't a fluke. So if you see here in the Pan American Games, he was a, well, first let's start with the South American Games. He was a bronze medalist. So let's go down there as to why he got a bronze. So he lost to Jorge Vivas, right? And Jorge Vivas ended up becoming the gold medalist in the Pan American Games. So he lost to the guy who eventually won. All right. So, all right. So that lets you know just, He's an Olympic gold medalist, so you have that in the back of your mind. All right, he got a bronze medal to the guy because he lost to the guy who eventually won. All right, let's go down here to the Pan American Games. He lost. He got a silver medal, but he lost to a Cuban. Okay, we all know Cubans are good at amateur success, but who is this Arlen Lopez, you know? So Arlen Lopez is a two-time Olympic gold medalist, world champion gold medalist, two-time Pan American gold medalist, Central American gold medalist and silver medal and a world uh, junior championship gold medal. So he lost to a very elite fighter there, a very elite fighter. So you got to remember, that's experience under his belt. All right. In the world championship games. All right. He won bronze. All right. Why did he win bronze? Let's go down and see why did he win bronze. Look, he lost in the semifinals to Gleb Bak Bakshi. Remember that name. Gleb Bakshi. Who is Gleb Bakshi? Gleb Bakshi, he's a gold medal winner in the world championship and a bronze medalist in the Tokyo Olympics. So he have lost, again, here he lost to an eventual winner in Gleb Bakshi. Then let's go down to the why I was so high on this guy, why I wanted to manage him, why I think he's a special fighter. Let's go down to the, the Olympic success he had. Let's go. So here you can see, let me see if I can find, all right, there we go. He beats this Chinese guy, okay. Then he beats 
the Kazakhstan. We all know Kazakhstan always produces great Olympians, and uh, he beat him. Who is this Kazakhstan? Who is this guy? He's got silver, silver, bronze, silver. So this guy is somebody who has won before, somebody who has talent. And then looky, looky here. Look who he beats to get into the gold medal match. Gleb Bakshi, somebody who beat him in the world championship games. And can say so beat him four to one, beat him easy, beat him easy. And then in the gold medal match, as you guys know, I already told you, he beats the number one ranked Ukrainian, number one ranked boxer in the world, in Alexander Kizniak, in one of the most clutch knockouts in Olympic boxing history. History, in the whole history of Olympic boxing, that is one of the most clutch performance. And that's why I was so excited for this guy turning pro. I already knew his amateur success. And if he can translate that, into the boxing world, into the professional boxing world, he will be a superstar. And if I'm Pro Bellum, and if I'm his manager, his network, who he's going to be, it looks like he's going to be fighting on Showtime. That's what it looks like. I will be promoting how much success he's had in the amateurs, particularly in the, in the Olympics. That's something that sells itself. That's a movie, brother. Listen, the guy was losing badly in the first two rounds, needed a knockout. For all the marbles, needed a knockout and got it with one punch against the number one ranked guy. This guy is going to be a future superstar. And I hope, hope, hope Probellum does right by him, promotes him the right way. And I hope, hope, hope he signed that without a manager and is still looking for a manager, gets, comes across his video and lets me be his manager because I'll make that kid a fucking star in America. But all right, guys, that's my video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button to help me out with the algorithm. I also go live every single Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. If you guys want to call in because you either agree or disagree, let me know. I'm with all the smoke. That's all cool with me. That's Wednesday, every single Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. But all right, guys, until next time, peace.